It is Monday, 28th of August, the start of another week. Um, pretty decent weekend, five orders in over the weekend. Um, some pretty kind of interesting orders, like one of them like for 59.96 for just seven pieces, which um, blew my mind a little bit. Um, so that was pretty good. Didn't do any parting out or anything really in that sense over the weekend. Was really focusing on some other things and doing a bit of thinking about the store and the way forward, um, which meant that the week ended up um, with a total sales of 18, which is pretty good. Um, total items, 2,116, which um, I think is definitely up on the week before. Total sales um, at 920, that included a set as well, which is good. Um, sales per day, 2.6, so that's definitely up. Brick Owl contributing four out of the um, 18, which given that it was at kind of almost 50% at one point, dropped right away, um, which is interesting. Kind of, it does seem to be quite hot and cold, Brick Owl, which um, is what I've been led to believe from watching other things on YouTube. Um, Nothing much to say about those charts, is there? Um, in terms of the uh, the colour that won the week, that was definitely light blue-grey, and those were two big orders, wasn't it? That kind of probably stole the light there. And black kind of taking out second place. So yeah, those kind of Star Wars-y colours, the white, the dark grey, the black, and the light blue-grey, definitely the winners on that front. Um, over on YouTube, uh, let's go to the channel. Should have done that before we got here, eh? Um, I uploaded the last week's vlog on Sunday night to see how that went and it's gone really well um, up to 145 already so that's obviously a good time of the week to upload that Sunday people time on their hands scrolling around looking at stuff subscribers has bumped up to 359 which is always good um, well the heading in the right direction is always good isn't it really um, in terms of where that means we're on that little uh, the, the road to monetization bar chart again they're, they're tracking along at the same the same route which is great um has it turned that on why is that, what's, yeah, that google is a very fickle beast sometimes um but uh go back to the channel did, 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 did some shorts kind of you know i said i was going to try and do shorts more regularly through the week and i did and kind of you know some of them go off and some of them don't so um, when I was hunting for the new Lego sets, which I did find Ahsoka's shuttle and the advent calendar yesterday. What was that the day before? Yeah, no, I found Ahsoka's shuttle yesterday. I found this um, Luke Skywalker, like giant figure. So good, wanted to steal it. Um, probably couldn't get it out of the store past the security guard, but um, not that I would either. But you know what I mean? It's kind of like, wow, that would be so cool. Not that I've got any space in here for it. But that one really went off and then um, you know the ones either side don't so there's no real kind of rhyme or rhythm to it so yeah shorts kind of do them as and when I, f I see something that's not really vlog worthy or part of that kind of stream of thinking yeah so um, other things that happened over the weekend um, is that of which I managed to pick up a couple of copies. So I'm gonna do a build review of that today, hopefully. I've got a fair few things I need to get out of the way, um, a bit of life admin and things like that that I need to do. But I'm gonna try and do a build review of that um, before everyone's got a copy of it, to be honest. Uh, and um, I added in a new one of these, the other side of the screen. Uh, a little bit of a rejig. Um, so some extra small drawers there but what I did spot watching um, another vlog of people picking orders, which gave me another idea that I'll show you in a minute, was that um, a lot of the American sellers use these ones called Acro Mills, which are um, hell of expensive to get here in Australia. Um, but they actually have um, inside, you know, these ones only come with one um, divider slot, but the Acro Mills one have um, three different slots. So you can vary the, um, the size of the trays, the, the sub compartments within the actual drawer, which, you know, maybe that's why they're worth so much, but um, yeah, they're just, they're just too expensive to justify um, any of that. And with the drawers 
on the way and showing up in the Australia Post app. Um, salvation is on the way. But um, I also had another, well, I got inspired by watching, um, it's a Belgian brick link shop called Willy Bricks, which um, is a bit of a dodgy name, but he uses these tubs from Ikea. So, you know, you can get them in volume, they're relatively cheap. I think these are $3.50 a tub, snap-on lids. They're two litre containers but he kind of uses them for things that don't fit in his acro mills or he doesn't have in kind of drawers. Um, so I was thinking about things that kind of don't move particularly fast or you end up with a lot of them taking up a lot of room as a good way to kind of store them. So I've got room in this um, cupboard, once I move that thing, for another 12 of these. So that would give me 16 of these um, two litre things, tubs, to put things like big plates, you know, um, I don't think I've sold a single one of those, or maybe maybe some light blue grey ones, but anyway, you know what I mean, and car chassis, I can never say that, car chassis, things that don't go fast, but take up a hell of a lot of room in the drawers where you're actually trying to expand and move to. So. I've got that one and I think I showed you this one that I got way back whenever that I was using for accessories so um, it's a drawer full of animals, um, bikes and I've moved all of the Star Wars blasters and rifles over here and it's where I have printed tiles and printed slopes and things like that so kind of more um, categorizable but unique parts are in this little stack now. These are gonna become big bins of volume. So, you know, like the two by four bricks take up stacks of drawers and they don't fit in the little shelf drawers. So they have to go in the big tray drawers, but they take up so much room quite quickly as do the one by fours. And you don't sell heaps of, or I don't sell heaps of them. So that seemed like a really good solution for the time being, which is good. All right, so on to the orders. And I just need to cover up somebody's address so you don't see it. And there's another one there, so I'll just have to cover that one up. So what do we got? Um, first one is um, the 20th, cent 20th century, 20 years pod racer set. Um, so I need to bobble wrap that yet, but I didn't so that I could show you it. And they bought a couple of parts as well. So all of that will go in that nice box and away that'll go. So that's good. This one is a windshield, which I think is from the um, Imperial Shuttle, actually, that one. Um, or at least that's where it came from in my instance. I bought, I was rebuilding um, the UCS one, and I mistakenly bought two of them. Some of those kind of plates that have got a rail on them and a whole bunch of those kind of um, curved slopes, are they? I don't know. Um, this was, this was like one of those instances where you think, hey, so seven of those is like um, a lot of money, right? <laughs> but my inventory said I had 123 of them and I, I simply do not have 123 of those. Um, so I had to correct that on the uh, inventory. So I'm just moving around the, the desk chair there. Uh, so this one uh, is some used parts. So I think they're all from space, those little blue grill plate uh, tiles, one by fours. Tiles? Bricks, sorry. So, yep, easy, easy. And then this one clears me out of uh, two by twos in black and white and two by threes in black and white. And this one's going to be interesting because it is paying for domestic leather. So all of that is going to be a little game of Jenga to get it in one of those envelopes um, yeah it's under the two centimeters but i'm gonna have to like build like a, a brick paver out of all of that to get it in um the one <laughs> the one envelope um and then downstairs um as i said kind of i had a whole lot of stuff going on ebay and a, a bunch of that sold which i spent the weekend packing and wrapping i haven't done the actual postal labels for that yet um, so once I've got some of the admin that I need to get out of the way for my own life, I'm going to get on to um, packing these and doing the eBay 
labeling and stuff like that. And I'll check back in at that point. I feel like I should have the um, Close Encounters music. Dum, 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 whatever it is. Absolutely huge, this set. Absolutely massive. But here it is, two of them. Looks like it's kind of funny, isn't it? They've lit it, so they've kind of photographed it with light that makes it look almost blue, which I think is almost misleading. I mean, has it got any blue lights on it, in it? I don't think it has, has it? But yeah, massive. The boxes are gigantic. Like, that's a hand. Like, they are massive. Like, huge, right? Nearly 3,000 pieces, so two of them. <laughs> That's a week's worth of parts, if I can do a part of that. And because I ordered them separately, I managed to get some gift with purchases and some VIP things. So um, I got the new um, Adventures, or whatever they're called, which is the spaceship thing. And because summer's coming, and, <laughs> you know, I'm a man getting older, and my hair's going... Got myself a VIP Lego bucket hat. I'll never wear it because I'll look ridiculous in it. But um, I can pretend I was back in the Manchester raving days. And because I got two separate orders, I got two of the uh, Houses of the World uh, sets. They're both the same, but um, I don't really collect those. So I'll probably just list those. But um, those little logs are pretty cool, aren't they? Uh, yeah, maybe I'll put them on um, on the store. I don't know, I'll check out what they're worth, see if people are actually buying them. Can I just slide that over the top of it, is that how it works? Hmm. It's kind of an interesting build, isn't it? Yeah, nice. Number three, I don't have any of the others. So yeah, um, I just ordered them separately and I just used VIP points for the two uh, gifts. Um, pretty cool, isn't it? don't think it's reversible. Is it reversible? I suppose it is, isn't it? If you got rid of that label, it would be reversible, wouldn't it? <laughs> it's probably... Uh... Anyway, there you go. Postman didn't bring that. This came from the uh, the tall people who then instantly sent me a customer service feedback, which I just think is, is laughable because they don't know what customer service is. When you try and speak to them, you get some automated chatbot that just doesn't doesn't understand anything you say so um yeah i hate that kind of thing i just want to speak to someone so there we go um time to get on with doing some actual stuff now i think um just done a uh, build of the ahsoka shuttle just waiting for that to upload and time to now turn my attention to some parts outs but i'm probably going to start with something a bit smaller than three thousand pieces just to warm up Tuesday morning and three orders in overnight. The first one, uh, the first sticker sheet that I've sold. And I think that one comes from um, this set actually. So um, I'm not sure why I've got all of this. I think I was rebuilding it at one point and had a couple of them on the go. Um, so yeah, the sticker sheet, the instructions, definitely Yoda's little legs. And I'm gonna guess that those um, dark gray, bluish grey slopes are from this set as well so a nice little package someone completing a set um, first order for a while a few days at least off of Brick Owl uh, one minifigure a ray figure um, yeah and phew, chances are went to draw T1 to pick it out you know it's a pretty busy draw and it was the first figure I found as well so that was a that was a stroke of luck and then this one literally just came in um, as I was packing um, and straight away hit a snag. So the buyers kind of ordered uh, various parts and including three of these cylinders, which um, came in the other day. And they've paid for domestic letter, which obviously has this uh, 20 millimeter limit, uh, of which these pieces are 20 millimeters high, which doesn't allow for any packaging, uh, which is a bit of a flaw in the BrickLink system, isn't it? Because you know, you've got to package it in some way and a buyer would, you would presume, expect some kind of protection for the package that they're receiving. So I've emailed them to ask them what they want to do, either kind of we can increase the shipping cost to a small parcel or um, 
they could remove them or they can cancel the order altogether kind of you know i know what it's like having bought plenty of stuff off of bricklink um you don't want stuff arriving mangled you definitely don't want to go to the post office and have to pay extra uh, when you think you've done a deal and you might have made this purchase um you might have added them to the sale because you were after another piece like the green chairs or something like that so i always think it's best to go back and ask the buyer what they want to do rather than me kind of going oh, i'll just do this for them so um i'll get these first two um packed up and ready to go and then wait to hear back from that and then the rest of the day is going to be um some admin stuff that i need to do and then back to the part outs i managed to do um three part outs yesterday um, i didn't video it all um which was good um it's like a couple of thousand parts which is all all star wars all star wars so not adding a great deal of a variety moved into this new small draw tower kind of decanting things from there um continuing to use those new stackable ikea tubs uh, although i have filled all 24 of those already so yeah we're, we're we're just waiting and waiting on these new really useful box company drawers arriving um which you know they are on their way so Fingers crossed they get here soon because I can't really tackle that Black Panther part out until I've got a bit more capacity. Over on um, YouTube, the Ahsoka shuttle review went up. It's done all right. Got some good comments. I think um, anyone that's watched it will kind of be acutely aware of my opinions of the shuttle. Sadly disappointing, to be honest. Um, yeah, kind of. I was quite shocked and... I mean, I'm looking forward to the Ghost probably the most to see how it compares to the old one. The old one was a funny build. You know, it wasn't a particularly easy build and not particularly the most attractive build. So hopefully they've improved in that. But at the moment, I'm thinking that Republic gunship is probably the one that's looking like it's probably the winner. Um, a funny little wave of sets. And obviously we're waiting for the Venator. God, there's the Harry Potter kind of architecture type set diorama type set and there's that gringotts thing as well all coming out i'm not talking about the chewbacca thing because that's just a monstrosity all coming out uh, this week so it's not a good time is it in terms of uh, trying to save money but um i won't be buying all of them don't worry um spent way too much this month um trying to sell some stuff some older sets on ebay um to try and balance the books for this month so um when we get to the end of month review, it's not looking like a nightmare. So um, get these ordered, uh, orders packed, wait to hear back, and then report back in the afternoon on anything else that's developing. Morning, it's Wednesday, 30th of August. Um, two orders in overnight, uh, one from Brickell, just for a um, container door, a container box door, um, as basic as it comes, the same, Buyer also asked for a quote for um, a set of instructions as well, but not heard back from them. So I'm just going to go ahead and get this one shipped out um, as you do. And then the other order from Bricklink for um, an Astromech. Um, I can't remember which set he's from, uh, but he's pretty cool. And a couple of battle droids and some just some random pieces. So a couple of just nice little orders. Um, easy, easy to do. The rest of yesterday was a bit of parting out, and that's still ongoing with um, those two, um, what are they, ATTE walkers next on the agenda. But um, generally, the rest of the day was um, preparation and sorting. So um, just to give you a bit of a, a up-to-date thing, kind of sorted out kind of future-proofing other storage stuff. So instructions had now got some containers. They were in like all sorts of random stuff. So there's two drawers in the um, really useful box things that have got instructions in. But these were like the older ones that kind of seem to be the ones that are selling, to be honest, because they're more vintage. So um, instructions one and two. And then I've got two more boxes of those over here. So instructions three is just going to be Star Warsy stuff. And instructions four is going to be other sets and stuff like that. And then um, I kind of was so inspired by Willy Bricks, which is still a terrible name, eh? with these kind of two litre storage boxes that, 
you know, they turned out to be a great addition. But the thing was, I was filling them up really quickly and running out of space, hand over fist still. Um, overflow, which is in there, OF1, was getting quite full with one by four plates and, you know, just things that fill up a lot. I mean, like masonry bricks, for instance. Like, we've got a lot of them, just different ones, those log profile bricks, those corner tiles, they take up a lot of space, right? One by four bricks, they consume a lot of drawers. And given that we're on limited space, I had to do something about it. So I kind of went on a bit of a uh, storage container frenzy and uh, got myself another two of these kind of boxes, which come from Bunnings. So B5 and 6 have been added. B6 has just got windows in it. And B5 at the moment has just got wheels and stuff in it, which did free up a whole heap of space in B3 and B4 for sorting out other bits and pieces. What that meant I also did was buy some bigger versions of these, some five litre ones, which I thought would fit up there because I'm terrible at measuring stuff. I didn't. And I thought I could get two on the top of there and I was completely wrong. So now they're over here. So these are like the amalgamation of um, dark grey, light grey, black and white. One by uh, two by four plates, two by six plates, two by eight plates, two by four bricks, because they just take up so much room. They're so bulky. And then I've got capacity for another two of those kind of things coming along. I'll have one shelf down there for instructions, which still leaves me with another shelf for other things. And then ultimately, there's going to be two more um, really useful box company drawer set, sets there. There's going to be 12 new drawers going in there, which means freed up loads of these drawers. It means we freed up quite a lot of these big drawers as well along the way. Lots of these became free, which meant that other things that were in the littler drawers, which were getting ridiculous, could move out, which just sounds like me rambling like a crazy man, doesn't it? I appreciate that, but it's like this kind of evolving, <laughs> organic kind of growing thing that you just got to kind of think ahead of. So, you know, kind of plates and things like that that take up a lot of room, I have to tackle head on before I get in a situation because space is limited and we will reach a point where we don't have any more room to do anything. It will happen. You know, these two by six tiles, at one point I hadn't seen one of those in a set at all. And now I've outgrown one half of one of these drawers and it have flowed into the one next to it. You know, your um, two by two bricks, you think you've got them under control and they just grow and grow. So it comes in spurts, similarly with slopes. You know, they just take over. So I've split out the four by twos from the from the two by threes. All of this kind of has an impact on where you're going. You know, this these um I'm not sure what you call these brackets probably. You know, they're in every set. So they, they really do kind of grow on you exponentially unless you get on top of it as do these kind of at one point you don't seem to have any and then you get a couple of sets and you've got stacks of them and you just don't have the capacity for them. Panels getting out of control. One by threes really need those new drawers going to split up the one by threes into a whole tray of one by threes I think is my vision for that and then one by fours in different colours I mean we've got a whole dish of one of those of grey, black and white and what I've realised is these um, trays are not quite as big as a whole one of these. Not far off, but not quite as big. Um, but like a whole one of those pretty much equals maybe a third of one of those. So it's quite a jump up, but it's where you've got to kind of go. So you need to combine when you go into those, which is again, me just rambling on, isn't it? But it's just kind of what I'm trying to do to get ahead of the curve in terms of where we're going to go in terms of storage once we've got those 12 drawers in we're really starting to look at maybe only room for another few more sets of drawers and then maybe a few more cabinets in here before we're at 
total capacity and then where do we go from there right what is the solution after that i don't know um and ironically i was looking back at um, one of the early videos you know it was only like five ten minutes long um last night just kind of seeing where we were on numbers and stuff like that and it was hilarious because i'm talking about those drawers on the shelves you know plenty of drawers you know you know well probably not need much more than this ever <laughs> it's kind of like wow look where we are now it's kind of like who knew it was going to be uh, such a challenge in terms of keeping on top of the actual space requirements of this um so yeah cool that's a it's a full-on rant for a uh, wednesday morning isn't it so today um get those orders packed up uh youtube's ticking along quite nicely that video has done well from going up on a sunday um and being under the hour perhaps that's helped as well um it's the 30th of august so another couple of days until the next massive release of sets um the Ahsoka one's doing well as well you know and when you consider the first few videos we're just getting like five or ten views and i was i was delighted with that it's good to look back sometimes and see how far you've come in literally two months from like three subscribers to 367 in two months is a phenomenal a phenomenal growth and i've just got to be really grateful to everyone that's been part of that so thank you everybody that's watched liked commented shared uh, subscribed along the way uh, you've all been critical to this journey so far and long may it continue as we we continue to learn and develop what we're doing so i'm going to tackle that ATTE part out today um, that's the one that i want to do today and then um don't know i need to think about what i what i take on next in terms of space like i said i don't think i can take on that black panther part out until these drawers arrive because i just don't think there is a space to put another six thousand parts in here without that capacity so it may be just working through those smaller sets that are behind those two drawers in the cupboard for the time being and whittling down that uh, and obviously there's the cupboard above that that's chock-a-block with sets that are waiting to be parted out as well so there's there's no shortage of parts and variety um i've got my brickstore file that i'm working on for the week um kind of been doing a bit of reading about um whether or not you should be uploading every day and you know a lot of people are saying that the algorithm whether there is such a thing behind bricklink i'm not sure suggests that you need to be doing it f f five to ten new lots every day i don't think it's got an algorithm i think it's just about what's in people's want lists doesn't seem to be that kind of a platform that has an algorithm to me it's really about hitting wanted lists i think but who knows so i'm going to do that part out today and i'm just going to keep going to the end of the week i think kind of rather than trying to upload every every day kind of this week i'm just going to do that and then next week i'll try uploading every day and see what that does as we go into the next month um might be just an interesting compare and contrast okay onwards and upwards thanks for listening to my uh, ramble i know it's garbled but really i do do an awful lot of overthinking on these things and maybe maybe it helps maybe it doesn't but we shall see cheers thursday the 31st of august the last day of the month and um it is 10 to 9 in the morning just gone and i'm doing something i've never done before i am here at a shopping mall um at the lego store before it's opened on the um hot tip that they are going early with the september the first sets now there's a fair few cars in the car park now i'm not saying they're all here for the same thing but you never know so this could be one of those situations where i go up the escalator and there's a whole load of people skulking around awkwardly outside a shop there could be some kind of some ropes there could be people kind of dressed up as star wars kind of crazies and all of that but there might just be nobody and there might just be me looking a little bit odd walking into a lego store as they're still opening it and like looking like the right kind of like weirdo so who knows first time i've ever done anything like this um the things we do um and who knew this would turn out to be the kind of thing i got up to at nine o'clock in the morning um but here we are so let's go and have a look
So nine o'clock comes and I've never been in a shopping centre when it opens and all you can hear is shutters opening. Incredible, uh, but no queue and looks like no Lego. Back home and there's been three orders overnight, two on Bricklink, one on Brickell. Take a look at those in a minute. Um, all pretty modest orders, but you know, fair enough, kind of orders is orders or orders, kind of, I'm happy with that. Um, but I did want to cover off um, the release of the first image of that thing that I talked about a while ago in terms of that um, Lego creator Viking ship being something to pick up because this was on its way and what a, what a cool looking set. And from a price point of view, they're talking about it being pretty reasonable uh, as well. Um, I think the price was 130 US dollars. I think that was the price, which is pretty low for a couple of thousand pieces, right? Um, unusually low. Maybe reflecting the fact that that Viking set didn't sell very well at all, who knows? But in comparison to other idea sets and comparison to the Orient Express set, which comes later, um, which is the same piece count, it's like $100 cheaper than that one, US dollars, so whatever that translates to, wherever you are. But just, you know, given that it's got minifigures, it's got it's a modular system, so all of those little things come apart. It's a play set because the roofs all come off. Um, it's got little hidden features like a cave and stuff like that around the back of it. There's a lot in that. Um, so it's going to be a very, very popular set when it comes out in October, which is like, come on, let go got an absolute crap load of sets coming out tomorrow then you're going to do that as well and the Venice is in there somewhere Gringotts is in there as well oh man doing it to us aren't they they're just trying to um might as well just pay them directly from your salary mightn't you so let's have a look at the orders uh three orders first one is 20 of those what are they, what are they called wedge plate pentagonal with center stud which is um another one of those things that I sold all I had and I thought I'm going to get some more of them because there's not many in Australia which I did I think I got 50 of them and there's 20 of them out the door already so uh, happy with that that's kind of another one of those kind of um, gut instinct went with me went with me gut and it's paid off which is good um, odds and sods one kind of um, sloped curve plate round one of those things which was just out of a recent part out I think that would they were out of the Harry Potter banner sets and some one by three plates and that um, Jabber's sail barge instructions 6210 oh, it's not in the greatest of conditions as a manual but like it's ages old right so um, yeah that one's off as well so they're all ready to go they're all um, letter so they're just stamps so I'll just print off the postage labels and get them off to the post office this morning and then it's back to part outs, um, trying to complete um, the last couple of part outs for the week. Um, what am I up to? Let me have a little look. I was just working through the uh, Galaxy Explorer one to see what that might do. But kind of my um, BSX, BSX file for the week is sitting at five and a half thousand parts. So that's how many part outs I've done this week, given that it's Thursday. Um, I'm going to do two more, I think, this week. Um, that Black Panther one is waiting in the wings, but um, as I keep talking about, I just cannot take that on until we've got more storage space in and around um, with the drawers and things like that. So um, I'm going to do um, the Galaxy Explorer and another one. Um, just to finish off the week. So I was just working through the Brickstore file, cross-checking it with the inventory to where things go. Um, obviously a lot of blue stuff in this. So um, whilst there's not a lot of lots that um, I don't have, like, you know, type of brick, I'm not sure whether that's a lot or whether a color classes is a lot. I should really figure that out. Anyway, the colorways that saw a lot of blue and red and stuff like that, are things that I don't have a lot of. So that's good, adding that stuff into the store um, and the spacemen figures I think will be quite popular. Um, so that's that's one for today. Um, 
some other bits and pieces I need to do in terms of um, my other work that I get to do and some admin that I need to get sorted but otherwise it's looking pretty organized and tidy in here at the moment um, having finished a couple of part outs last night tidied up behind myself and with all of the new storage tubs things are in a good shape so um, get those done and then have another bash at trying to find the September the 1st Lego sets tomorrow but I'll report back later today with anything else that happens still Thursday morning and another order popped in this one is uh, 99 items 99 problems but this isn't one of them and 21 lots um, all light blue grey and dark blue grey um, that was, was a nice little order um, I was just leaving feedback on this week's orders and going through and this one popped in so picked it straight away another uh, domestic letter one um, that's why I've not bagged them separately so I can get it in the, the small envelope thing under the two centimeters given there's a couple of the, the bigger bricks so I can spread it out and make sure that it's um, packaged under that um, size limit that they have for these things so there's another one that um, I'm gonna um, finish doing the feedback and then get down to the post office so another order um, finishing off the month strong Friday 1st of September the end of another week the end of the second month done and dusted um, what a what a second month it's been um, I did a bit of a upload of where I'd been on the part out last night so we kind of finished the month way ahead of where we wanted to start September the target was to start at 80,000 parts and we're starting at 87 and a half um, it was a little bit over that but there was one big order in um, overnight which I'll show you in a minute um, so that's a great achievement um, yeah kind of did that upload and then a big big order came in not necessarily any of the parts that were in the upload um, but it does kind of go back to my sorry finger in the way my opinion that when you upload you get more um, purchases so September I'm going to try and do daily uploads doesn't have to be a lot I'm just going to try and do something every day if possible apart from the weekends uh, but even might do some things at the weekends uh, just to see how that does in terms of regularity of shopping so August kind of finished up looking like this um, total sales 62 the total sales income um, 2456 I'll do a full breakdown of kind of income and expenditure and stuff like that like I did in the first month I'll do that kind of on Monday this just gives you an overview of where we're at and for those people that love to know which color is the big winner of the month um, light blue gray and dark blue gray and black and white have been by far the uh, the most popular colors um, in terms of week the week um, this week uh, with, statistically it's not been a great week um, but it tends to be like that heading into the weekend I think we're back on the same kind of trajectory as we were last week in terms of um, brick owl being about 50% of the orders um, in fact it is 50% of the orders this week but all of those stats were down this time last week as well and um, those kind of statistics are borne out for the month in the week so far but white has been um, you know it was I was going to say it was hot but it's not it's the absolute opposite white it's very cold color but anyway it was leading the charge all the time and now it's kind of dropped away which is interesting um, maybe that's just kind of there's a lot of Star Wars and things out and about at the moment but pretty good um, we kind of start September with 373 subscribers on there so kind of two months in with 373 which is a fantastic achievement um, Ahsoka's shuttle review going great now actually it's kind of steadied up um, shorts have added to that everything's going well on the on the vlogs I think kind of nothing nothing to grumble about there um, and kind of Brick Owl's kind of in its second week that's gone well happy with that so let's have a look at the uh, the big order uh, just having a coffee here it is um, heaps of light blue grey like lots and lots of it 
spotted a couple of issues along the way. Um, a couple of, um, there was some two by 10 tiles in there and some of them have got quite scratched on the side. Like you remember there was, there was that canopy windscreen that was scratched new in the bag. Um, same kind of deal on those tiles. So I flagged that to the buyer. Um, I was missing um, one of these hinge brackets. Um, guy had ordered 15, 16, I only had 15. And there was a, there was two two by three bricks in light blue gray, which were really kind of, well, they weren't new, that was for sure, even though I'm not sure where they came from. Um, kind of one end of them was a bit discolored, um, oddly. So I've emailed the buyer to see what he wants to do about that. Kind of, it's not high value. I mean, it was um, seven, 478 items, 47 unique lots. So it was a it was a big order. It was like four pages of printouts. Good fun picking it. A little bit of trans stuff in there as well. Uh, a little bit of black. Yeah, it was good. Love love those big orders because they kind of like they do kind of test out the system in a weird way. But um, yes, I'm waiting to hear back from him before I can get that parcelled up and sent away. Part outs yesterday went well. Kind of meant a bit of jiggery pokery around some of the um, five litre tubs. Um, 5L5 and 5L6 have now joined the party. Uh, actually, 5L5 is graduated from one of the two litre tubs. Those 4x4 four four plates have moved up. And um, yeah, those five litre tubs are going to be invaluable, I think, moving forward um, because those two litre ones are filling up fast. And then this morning, I went to the... Um, the usual Lego store that I go to, and they didn't have any. Their truck hadn't turned up. Everyone was there buying Gringotts and stuff like that, and uh, they didn't have any new Star Wars. Can you believe that? Probably not get it till Tuesday, they said. So I went to the other one here in uh, Perth, which um, they had loads, loads. Um, so yeah, the boxes are huge, like massive, massive boxes. Um, so yeah, let's have a little look. Um, yeah, I wasn't expecting well, that ghost box is um, pretty big. I'm trying to think what, what, what it's comparable to that I've seen recently. Um, it's it's as big as the Yavin, it's getting towards the Yavin 4 base box size, um, which, you know, and it's about, it's exactly the same size as the Republic gunship box, but not as, that one's not as wide. So they're both the same size box, but one's slimmer than the other one. And yeah, so um, let's start with it. Let's start with the Gulf State. No, let's start with the Republic gunship, as it's at the front now. So there's the minifigs. We've we, I know everyone's seen all of this, but um, yeah, nice. And the Ghost. Um, there's Jason Sendula without his green hair, which still now seems like a bit of a strange thing. And the uh, the all new chopper, the war criminal extraordinaire, um, highest kill rate in Star Wars. He's got killed so many people. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. What, uh, what was I, what was I watching the other day? Where they said that that is a sticker. Uh, yeah, I can't remember. I think that might be a sticker, which. Um, yeah, can't believe that. But um, and I think I saw somebody else's review where you could actually fill a, fit a full size minifigure in that um, cockpit as well. Um, so that's good. That was a question I had when I saw the first pictures. So yeah, there's that one. And then uh, Shin Hattie's, um set. This is a big long box, kind of um, really long. Right how much longer it is than the those two boxes right, it really sticks out um, still still not really fancy that e-wing at all the figures are i think this one's merely about the figures you know that that ship's pretty good although i'm not sure really if this is that representative of what you saw in the program during the week these wing parts looked a lot stubbier in the in the shots on in the program but anyway but yeah those figures that's that's the winner line up that I know a lot of people are grumbling that there's no printing on the uh, the skirt piece but I think all in all that one's definitely 
the uh, the best lineup of figures um, following the T6 Shoal. I think this probably is the best lineup of figures. Particularly love this um, this guy, although he's the same um, as that. They're both the same um, torsos and legs, so you just um, you could just put a Zeb head on that, and you could have the one from the Mandalorian. So yeah, I managed to get those. Um, we'll probably do one of those builds during the week next week if I get a chance, depending on what else is on. Uh, and next up, I'm going to do the first part of one part out every day which is going to be the um, Galaxy Explorer, which is on the floor over there, waiting for me to get stuck into it. So crack on with that. And then uh, if anything else happens during the day, I'll report back. If not, uh, back next week. If you like the videos, you know what to do. It's a big thumbs up down there. Hit the little uh, bell button so you don't miss anything and subscribe. And uh, let's push on as we go into month three of this little uh, adventure. Thanks for watching. Cheers.